What's up guys? Welcome back to Ghost in Games. Welcome back to a video series that I haven't done in a very, very long time. Um, and what I'm talking about... Well, okay. We'll get there in a second. We're going to be doing an unboxing today. Now, the box that I'm opening up, uh, it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, like, I found this and I'm like, oh my god, I have to buy it. So, I bought it. And, uh, and so we're gonna unbox it, and the, the box that we're opening up is this right here. This is for the Dragon Ball Super card game. So, I used to do a series of card pack openings for the Dragon Ball Super card game. And, uh, so I wanted to do this because I was like, I can't pass up this opportunity, you know, that I found this here. And so as you can see on the front, I just want to take a moment and just like look how badass that Gogeta looks right there. That just like really looks cool. Um, so I get and like the craftsmanship of the box, like it just it's sturdy as hell. So I can really get on board with this. So you have the Gogeta, and then on this side you have Super 17, which we don't care about. This side you have Golden Frieza, and then on the back you have Janemba. Uh, now this is for the current set that is available. For purchase, um, which I think it was was called the Miraculous Re Revival. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Because we're also going to be opening up this box right here, which is a promotional box, um, including one pro uh, promo card and four booster packs. So we're going to open that up as well. I do want to say this is not a sponsored video at all. Okay, I just want to put that out there. Not sponsored. I freaking bought this myself. Nobody sent it to me. You know, nothing like that. I didn't like Bandai didn't send me shit all right now let's go over the contents of this box before I actually open it up so in the box itself it comes with one limited leader card which is a uh, green leader tiny warrior Sun Goku it's a holiday variant on it so it's gonna say happy holidays on it uh, it's gonna come with six booster packs from this series okay the miraculous uh, revival series and then it's also gonna come with one official tournament pack which is really cool that it's gonna have a tournament pack in it uh, so we're gonna open this up now I do want to mention that if it like this is the size of a booster box now obviously it's not gonna have the same amount of booster box it's gonna have because the booster box has about 20 24 packs so there's only six packs in here uh, but I do want to mention that if you are buying packs at retail price like you go to Target or whatever and the packs are there and you're buying the packs it costs about four dollars a booster pack uh, so this box right here costs twenty-five dollars, and since there's six booster packs in here, if you're gonna buy the six booster packs individually at four dollars a piece, you would have ended up spending thirty-two dollars. So right there, you save some money. On top of that, you get two promo cards. One is the promotional leader, and the other is the tournament card. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Um, let me. Yeah. Okay. There's. There's. It's taped on, so that's fine. Cause I'm here thinking like I'm gonna have to destroy this, but no, I don't have to. Like even the plastic is like super sturdy, which is um, I'm not used to that. Like I'm used to the plastic being super flimsy and just like I go ahead and I just tear it, tear it open, man. But nah, nah. Like the even the plastic is like it's almost as freaking sturdy as if if it's like um, like what is it? Like the the sleeves for the for the cards. Which by the way, I'm gonna take out some sleeves because that's what I always do is I take out sleeves for card pack opening so let me get my sleeves ready and that way we can go ahead and you know put this uh put the good cards in their in their sleeves um now the the main purpose of this box okay because they they even said on you know they promote it as like oh it's a gift box and you can use it to store your cards which is really cool like this thing is freaking sturdy as hell like just look at the freaking thickness of this that's what that's what she said um actually no that's what he said because if she said look at the thickness of this and she's not talking about some you know what we're just we're not going to go there because then this is going to become an adult an adult conversation and we don't want to go there all right so i mean obviously it's cardboard but it's it's still like it's pretty damn high quality and that that's the thing about the about the cards in general. If you guys follow Rhyme Style, which I, I'm sure a lot of you guys do follow Rhyme Style, if you follow Rhyme Style, then you're well aware of the high quality that these cards have, which is uh, which is great. So right here, first things first. Happy holidays, Tiny Warriors, Son Goku. On the back, it's Pilaf. Really? That's funny. All right, so I'll show you guys. So on the back is Pilaf. Focus. Can I get a focus there? 
No, I guess that's the best we're gonna get focused. All right, peel off. And then on the front, Happy Holidays, Sun, Tiny Warrior, Son Goku. It's okay. So it's obviously GT Goku. The uh, you can't tell because I have the wrapping still on it, but the the holographic on it is really high quality. I actually really like it. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll put that away. Uh, so in here we have the tournament pack. We'll open that last. All right, that's the tournament pack. And then we have the actual booster packs. Uh, so six booster packs. So Super 17, Shenron, Golden Frieza. Is that Angel Golden Frieza? No, just regular Golden Frieza. Uh, Gogeta, another Super 17, and another uh, Shenron. So we're going to open the Gogeta last. We're going to open the Super 17s first because I don't like Super 17s. So we're going to open him first. Um, that's how I'm going to organize it. We're going to open Freeze in the middle and the Dragon is going to be before we go to Gogeta. So these are like inserts, trash, and this is where you can store your cards. That's actually really cool. I like that. So I can go ahead and just put like, for example, my Secret Rare Vegito Blue. Every time I get a chance to freaking flash this card, I can do it. Um, I could just like go ahead and store it in there nicely. That's that's really cool. I like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and just set this aside here. Just for right now, uh, we're gonna set all the cards aside because I want to open up this other pack here, and we're gonna open up all the booster packs together. So let's go ahead and get this open. All right, cool. And of course, like these, they always come with like instructions. Uh, with like the updated gameplay so if you guys play competitively then there you go there's the updated gameplay stuff now all right first things first let's look at this janemba because damn it man like i love me some janemba i know a lot of you guys are janemba fans i i think a, a lot of it has to do with just his character design just it's so such a good character design and uh and we all love his sword man we all love his sword the downside to this card it doesn't have his sword but that's all right so look at we're gonna look at this card. It's it's actually a, like really beautiful card. Holy crap! Reality Bender Janemba. The way that his card is designed, it like it actually looks like that freaking reality uh, bending thing. So that's that's really cool. Um, all right. So in here we have w one of each. So we'll just organize it with the rest of these. Like I said, we're gonna open up the tournament pack last. So I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna open 17s first, then Golden Frieza, and then Shenron and Gogeta. All right. So let's get started. We're going to open up Super 17 pack. Now, the way that these packs work, the last card is going to be your rare card. So if it's uh, if the last card is a leader card, then I pretty much spoil it for myself by looking at it. So I don't want to do that. Um, and there is one secret rare to be found in all of these. Now, the, uh, there's 60 commons, 30 uncommons, 18 rares, 11 super rares, and 11 special rares. The super rares... Um, how can I put it? So you have the special rares are usually variants of the super rares. In this case, they did all 11 uh, super rares as the special rare variant, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, that's that's fine. The uh, first and second set. So I have a lot of the second set, which is the Union Force set. Uh, the second set didn't have every super rare as a special rare variant. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that they're actually doing that now. All right, so let's see. I don't want to ruin the last card for myself. That's that's the thing. Because if I see it, then if I see the back, I, and I'll it'll be ruined, and I, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. All right. So we're just gonna go through these, uh, just really quick. Revival of the Emperor. So these are all common. So the first, oh no, uncommon. They switched it up. So the first three are uncommons. Uh, and we got a leader card, which is Master Roshi. Max power Master Roshi at that. Freaking buff Roshi. Uh, so we're going to set that aside. Shoe Trusted Lackey. So the rest should be commons. All right. So the rest are commons. Bro, look at this Janemba. Look at this Janemba right here. Just It's a common card, but just like look at the card. It's freaking awesome. I love that. I love it. All right. So let's just keep going. I'm just going to go all the way to the end here. I don't want to see the last card. Uh, the last card is a rare Super 17. All right, to further height. It looks all right. I mean, his face looks kind of jacked up. But, I mean, seven, Super 17's face looks jacked up anyways. Can, can I get a focus? 
All right, there you go. Oh, uh, I mean, it, it's a cool looking card. Again, his face looks jacked up, but I mean, I said it before. It's a, you know, Super 17. It always looks jacked up. I guess that's like a common thing that they do with it. So we're just going to go ahead and sleeve it. All right, that's cool. Choose one cell card. What does cell have to do with Super 17? You know what? I'm not going to, not even going to worry about that. Not going to worry about that. That's not for this video. That's like, that would be a rant video. Just because that, that's weird. Doesn't make any sense. All right, next pack. Again, Super 17 packs. That's funny. We got a Super 17 in a Super 17 pack. Uh, I can never open these right. It's like opening up a condom wrapper. And those of you guys who are too young to understand what that means, then um, one day you'll understand the uh, the frustration of opening up a condom wrapper. All right, so we got another Max Power Roshi. We got a Mask Saiyan. All right, Dark Power Dark Power Black Mask Saiyan. Which I wonder who that could be. That couldn't be Vegeta. All right, so we got Cell. Frieza, Revenge in Motion. Oh, that's Frieza getting cut in half. That is awesome. That is great. Frieza getting cut in half. That is great. I'm not a Frieza fan. I'm not. I know a lot of you guys are. And that's fine. I'm just I'm just not a Frieza fan. Uh, that's a cool looking card. Okay, so I think the next one is the rare. No, no, yeah. Okay. So this is a cool looking card right here. Super Saiyan Sun Goku. Uh, and then in the background, it has Gogeta. So I'm assuming there's a Vegeta card that is the other way around. So it's like Vegeta and then it shows Gogeta on there. That's a cool looking card. All right. So then we got Oob. And so the next card should be our rare card. And it is... Oh, not yet. Why is that holographic? When did they start doing that? So I don't want to ruin the next card. Although if I... If I, I don't want to ruin the next card, but... Right here, they this is uncommon, and they made it holographic. I don't know why they started doing that, or when they started doing that. That's weird. That I'm not. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, and the last card is a a rare Super Seventeen, <laughs> but this is the leader Super Seventeen. I like the way the leader cards look. They always look badass. So that's that's cool. This is the backside of it. Freaking Super Seventeen flexing, like he's like a supermodel or something. Um that's weird that throws me off right here that this is holographic now that they're doing that because here's the reason why it throws me off the reason why it throws me off is because the secret rare whenever you have a secret rare in the cards all right in the booster packs um it's behind a rare card okay whether it's a, a rare or a super rare or whatever it'll be behind another rare card so seeing a holographic in front of a rare bro that's like trolling that is massively trolling all right so we're gonna put a sleeve on on this because yeah always got to put the sleeves on the rares man and since there's a leader card i give it a clear sleeve i don't know if i should sleeve this or not like is there a, is there a purpose to sleeving the holographic uncommons i mean that's like when pokemon started doing holographic uncommons that really like threw me for a loop i didn't understand why they started doing that it didn't make sense to me i was like bro just like no don't don't do that all right whatever again tangents right you know all right we're going to go next next pack right here super 17 can can i can you can you op open properly all the way all the way all the way almost almost all the way almost almost can I get like a super rare or something like that? That'd be nice. Instead of regular rares. Alright, so. Uh, we're just going to go through the uncommons really fast. Bro. <laughs> Vexing outcome Veku. I just saw Veku. I was like, bro, really? Really? Alright, I guess I had to include him. Um, Vicious Lackey Tagoma. Now this one here, so here's the thing, like I just I like the card art in a lot of these cards, even the common ones. This one right here, defensive stance piccolo. This is a badass looking piccolo. Can I can I get a focus? Alright, that's it right there. Uh, it's actually a pretty badass looking piccolo. I'm I'm down for that. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Okay, so I think the next one is our rare... Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So, our rare is the next one here. And our rare is... Oh, that's Xen... Um... Is that Xenoverse? Yeah, Xenoverse Goku. Okay. From Xenoverse. Deadly Defender Son Goku. Uh, they really upped the quality of the rare cards. They really did. Because the rare cards didn't look this flashy. This is just a regular rare. But to give you an example. Let's see. Let's get a regular rare card. So this is a regular rare card from the second set. Union Force. Alright. So it, it just looks like a regular card and it's just holographic. But this one, like they actually like up the quality of it. Which I like that. I'm glad they did that. Props to them. Props to them. Anytime the creators or whatever like actually care about the way their cards are, I am all for that. All right, next pack is a Frieza pack. We're gonna open up Frieza. And the thing is, like with these card pack openings, they take a while, so I apologize for that. But if you stick around, then uh, you know you. Or if you leave early from this video, you might miss out on an announcement that I'm going to make. So just stick around, guys. Or skip ahead, whatever. But I prefer if you skip, stick around. All right, so with the first three uncommons. Hey, all right, so here's the... Oh, no, that's not the variant. So we got a uncommon Tiny Warrior Goku. It says Wish. I don't know what that means. But this... Okay, so this Goku right here. The pilaf that's on the back. And the Goku that's on the front. The promotional Goku. This is the variant of that same Goku. So, that's actually cool. Alright. Uh, Grandpa Gohan. I haven't seen Grandpa Gohan in a while. Let's see here. Alright, so let's see. General Rildo. We don't care about General Rildo. Uh, Ginyu. That oh, Ginyu Tagoma. I was like, Ginyu? And then I saw Tagoma. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Ginyu Tagoma. All right. Time Magic. And the next one is the rare card. So let's see what the next rare card is. Okay. Okay. They're showing the man some love. We got Yamcha. At 100%. The card looks badass, though. It's a ra super rare. Super rare Yamcha. It's a, a badass looking card, though. I just... It's weird to freaking, like, it says Yamcha at 100%. And I'm here, like, okay. What does that mean? What does Yamcha 100% mean? I don't know. All right, all right, whatever, that's fine. All right, next pack. Next pack is another Frieza pack. I'm just going to open up that Frieza pack right there. Up, oh, up, oh, okay. I would love to get another secret rare just because it would be it would make such or make for such a badass video to get a, another secret rare card. Uh quick thinking go tanks. Uncommon card. Alright. Alright, go tanks. Let's see. Oh, we got another one of those tiny warrior sun Gokus. Uh, let's see any other cool cards here. We got another Frieza uh, getting cut in half, another Gin uh Ginyu Goldo. Or Ginyu Golo. Ginyu Tagoma. Uh, Divine Cry Beerus. What the hell? Divine Cry Beerus. Or, okay, so Divine Cry. Not like Divine Cry. Oh, boo -hoo. Uh, it's Beerus right there. Divine Cry Beerus. It's not a bad looking card. Not bad. Alright, so we got a Dragon Ball card. The next card is our rare or above. Preferably above. And it is. A rare Frieza, full power Frieza. Uh, Deadly Defender Frieza. I'm not a fan of this card. Like, just the way that it looks. The uh, the drawing of Frieza. Get out of my face. The drawing of Frieza, like, I'm not not a fan of it. Not a fan. Uh, I'm A lot of the Frieza cards, I don't like. Like, I don't like the design of them. There's a couple that I do like, but most of them are just kind of meh. This is one of those that are just meh. Alright, so next we got Shenron pack. So, hopefully the dragon brings us something good, right? You know, because he's he's the eternal dragon. And he grants wishes. And my wish is to...
pull a secret rare. Okay, so that'd be cool. I, I'm assuming the secret rare is like Gogeta. Because why not? Why wouldn't it be Gogeta? Alright, so Scheming Oolong, Master Roshi, another quick thinking Gotenks. Super Saiyan Goku, so like that's Kid GT Super Saiyan Goku. Right there. That's that's not a bad looking card as far as the drawing goes. Uh, bandages, Whis, Temporal Rescue Trunks. Okay, that's Xeno Trunks. Um, Alright, not, not too bad looking. Like, I like these cards just because I like the way that they design them. Um, Alright, so now we are at the, the card before the rare. Um, it's a Goku card, which I'll show you in a second before we get to the rare. It's a Goku card, which looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. It's simple. It's clean. I like it. So the card that we have here is a Frieza. It's another Frieza. It's a Golden Frieza leader card. So Golden Frieza leader rare. Why are they doing these weird leaders? They didn't used to do this. So the leader front is Sorbet. The leader back, which again, so here's a Frieza card that I like. It's a Frieza Resurrected Emperor. I like the way that this card looks. This is an actually, like, this This is a good looking card right here. I like that. So I'm going to put that one away. Oh, leader cards going to different sleeves. I, I always, I got to remember that. Leader cards going to different sleeves. So that way you can see both sides. Or else, then what's, what's the point? Alright, next Shenron pack. Let's go, let's do this. Open, open. Nope, no. Now I gotta like open it, open it. Alright, we good. Alright, Shenron, I'm wishing for a secret rare. Can you grant my wish, please? Grant my wish. So another uh, Bla Mass Saiyan Vegeta. Let's see, let's see. I'm just like skipping all of them because we want to get to the last one. Ooh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Uh, I don't like the way that this one looks. It looks bad. It's a bad looking blue Goku there. Alright. Wow. Wow. They got old man Krillin in here too. Old man Krillin. Negotiator Krillin, bro. Alright. Uh, the next one is the rare. And it is... Bro. Bro. Alright. I don't play Dokkan anymore. But I just got Tech Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Alright. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Twin Onslaught Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Super rare. This looks nice. I'm not a Super Saiyan 4 fan, but this looks nice. That is badass. Wow. Okay. I like it. I like it. That is nice. Alright. So, we got one more Shenron and we got the two Gogeta packs. Shenron. Come on. Grab my wish. Secret rare. Or a special rare. You know, I'll take a special rare too. I'm not greedy. I mean, I am greedy. But, you know, if you're not going to give me a uh, secret rare, give me a special rare. How about we open this pack? Wow, this pack is extremely difficult to open. They didn't want me opening this one. It's got to be something good. Hey! Well, I mean, it, it's a leader... Gohan, I and it's a great Saiyan Gohan on top of that, bro. Give give me that card all day. Although that one, the back looks kind of weird, or the front looks kind of weird. The back looks nice. Righteous Heart Sun Gohan. I will take a great Saiyan Gohan any day of the week, especially when he's not wearing the the full setup with the helmet and all that. Uh, all right, so let's keep going. Let's see, we're just going to the, oh oh that's GT Vegeta. Uh, defensive stance, Super Saiyan Vegeta. We don't like GT Vegeta. I don't like GT Vegeta. Maybe you guys do. I'm not a I'm not a big GT fan to be honest. Um, so if you like follow the channel for any amount of time, then you you're aware of that. All right, last card is a super rare Shenron the Grant Wisher, or Grant Wisher. Ha, ah, Wish Granter. I like dyslexia right there. This looks cool. This card can't attack. Nice. Uh, that looks really cool. I like that. Shen Shenron the Wish Granter. That is a pretty cool looking card. 
I mean, it's freaking Shenron. You, you can't, can't go wrong with the dragon. All right, so now that we summon Shenron, that means that we're going to, on these last two packs, we're going to get something good because we summoned the dragon. All right, that's what it took. It took summoning the dragon himself, and we good. So let's get this last one. This is a Gogeta pack. All right, oh, oh. I got I to gotta do our thing from my old videos. We got to shake, 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 tap, tap, tap. And now we're going to get what we want. All right. Secret rare. Secret rare or special rare? Secret or special? Preferably secret. But special is okay too. All right. Grandpa Gohan to the rescue. We're just going to skip through it. Oh, Spirit of Pan. I, I like this. I like this pan. I like that pan. That's a good drawing of pan. And I was right. There is a Super Saiyan Vegeta variant of Gogeta. Boom. Right there. I like that. That's a good one. All right, so we're gonna keep going, keep going, just like skipping the rest. Uh, after image technique. Wow, I haven't heard that in a long time. And the last one is. Oh no, I lied. Damn it! They did it again. They did it again. They gave me a common holographic. A common holographic. All right, all right. So the next one is our rare. Ready? Our rare is our rare or higher is. It's a rare. All right. Our rare is Super Saiyan Trunks. Spirited Search Super Saiyan Trunks GT Trunks. Uh, the card looks cool. I like it. I like it. I'm a fan of Trunks. Not GT Trunks. He's a pussy. But it's all right. It's all right. I like the card. The card looks good. So we're going to go ahead and put that. And our last Gogeta pack right here. We're going to shake, shake, shake. Tap, tap, tap. All right. Last pack, guys. Last pack of the video. Um, I'm going to be doing more. But this video is already long. So, well, not, I mean, technically not last pack because we have the tournament pack. But that's only one card in there. All right. Give us, give us a secret rare. Secret rare or special rare. So we're just going through this really fast. Another Super Saiyan Vegeta. Nice. Uh, Negotiator Krillin, another one of those. Dragon Ball. Okay, so they did it again. North Kai Keeping Watch is the uh, the common, our holographic common, I should say. And our rare is really, really, you gonna you gonna end it on a pilaf machine? Okay. All right, we're gonna end on a peel off machine. All right, well, well, not end it on that, but you know, before the tournament pack. So let's see what we get in the tournament pack. So this tournament pack right here, it has there's eight cards that you can get. So eight total. Does it say which cards are in here? Nope, doesn't say which cards are in here. Okay. It used to. It used to tell you what cards come in the tournament packs. Because before, there were only like four cards in, in that series. So, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what we get. Let's see who we get in our tournament pack. I have to be like a little bit more careful because there's only one card in here. And I don't want to damage the card. So, like, I'm taking my time opening it. Like I said, I don't want to damage the card. All right, cool. So, the to the tournament promo card is a two-star Dragon Ball. You can include as many copies as of cards with Dragon Ball in your deck as you like, as long as the total number doesn't exceed seven. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of two or less and KO it. That's kind of pretty OP. I love the way these cards feel. Obviously, you can't feel the card from here, but... I just, I love the way that these tournament packs look. This is not my first tournament pack card. Um, like I said, like, just like that promo Goku, the tournament pack cards have like a certain grainy feel to it, which is really nice. I, I really, really like those. Um, so that's really cool. 
So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now, the announcement I want to make is I will be doing giveaways for these cards. Um, I will be giving away cards monthly like I used to. And, you know, I, that's something I want to get back to doing. So thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Stay tuned for a monthly giveaway video. And you guys have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your day. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.